Hi, I'm Frances and welcome to another installment of Find Your Art Medium. Thank you to my subscriber who suggested oil pastels for today's video. As always, we will first answer the question, what is this art medium? What are oil pastels? Then we will look at the list of advantages and see what kind of personalities and artists might have a good time with oil pastels. Then we'll do the opposite and see who might better stick with another art medium because of a list of disadvantages. Finally, we will have a summary and review of oil pastels. Let's get started and answer the question, what are oil pastels? Oil pastels are sticks of pigment mixed with binder of wax and oil. You might already know something similar from your childhood called wax crayons. They, however, don't use oil and therefore have very different properties. The oil in oil pastel sticks is non-drying and allows you to blend the colors in the style of oil paint. The great thing about them in contrast to oil paint is that you don't have to handle chemicals in order to paint with them. Even though, yes, they do become soluble with turpentine, it is not necessary in order to create with this medium at all. But Francis, aren't pastels these dusty pigments? You are thinking of soft pastels. The difference between these two pastels is the oil ingredient. That is why the oil pastels don't leave the dust you might know from pastels and instead have a creamy consistency and are rich and vibrant in color. Now let's talk about the equipment and what you need in order to use oil pastels. First off, you need your oil pastel sticks. Each stick has one color and you achieve different shades by blending and mixing them together. More on blending in a second. You can decide for yourself how many colors you think you need and how much you are comfortable spending. The price range is vast and each brand recipe is unique. They all behave a bit different but especially for beginners you shouldn't notice the difference that much. The only thing I highly recommend is do not get your art supplies from a dollar store. If possible, find an art supply store and go for a cheaper brand. I created this list of different brands and their price range. You can see at the top how many colors are in a set and then you can see the price below in the table. Now I have the Sakura Cray Pa. But the ones I have are not in production anymore because they are the old ones from my mom. They are now divided into Crepa Junior and Crepa Expressionist. Almost all of the sticks you will see me paint with were still functional, but some had dried too much and weren't usable anymore. If I had to give you a tip, I'd say go for the Sakura Crepa or go for Jackson because you can buy single oil pastel sticks. They have 84 colors, they are very affordable and you can choose your own colors if you ever think you need a special one. I'd go for 24, maximum 36. As I mentioned, they all have different recipes and behave in a unique way. If some property is important to you, for example, a very smooth paint application, you want to look into comparison videos of this special brand. And buy a single stick of high quality white and black from Carandash or Sennelier. Now we have the paint covered and we also need a surface. Oil pastels can be applied on many surfaces like glass, wood, MDF plates or even canvas, but mostly they are used on paper. If your paper has a light texture or tooth, your paint will stick better, but it is no necessity. It should however be thicker than printing paper, which is usually 80 grams per square meter. When you apply oil pastels, you need a bit of pressure and when you blend the colors with light force, it might be too much for thin paper. Everything above 120 grams per square meter should be sufficient. I mostly use this mixed media paper by Paint on Clairefontaine. 
Also, it's mostly standard, but do look out for acid-free paper, because sometimes, depending on the recipe of your oil pastel stick, it can react with acids in your surface. If you want your colors to merge into each other and achieve the oil paint look, you will need something to blend your paint with. Blending is the thing that elevates your oil pastel art from kindergarten project to a grown-up painting. It is the most common technique used to alter the oil paint once applied on your surface. For blending you can use cotton swabs, your fingers or blending stumps. Turpentine, as mentioned, works as well. You can even use the paint stick itself to mesh the paint together. Let's talk a bit more about a few techniques before we talk about the advantages and disadvantages of oil pastels. You can use the painting method called impasto, where you amass enough paint to give it texture. You should go for a very soft oil pastel brand if you want to use that technique often. You can also layer paint on top of each other and then scrape down the top layer. You can play with this effect and achieve fine details, which is often otherwise difficult with your broad oil pastel sticks. I will introduce another technique later on while I am painting. Okay, we talked about what oil pastels are, what you need in order to create with them, and you learned the basic techniques you make use of while painting. Now let's talk about the advantages and what kind of person could really like oil pastels. Oil pastels are one of the cleanest, ready-to-go painting mediums you can imagine. They are a bit sticky and your hands might be sticky as well, but after you are finished painting, there are no utensils to clean, you can quickly store your paint sticks in their container. Therefore, oil pastels are great for outdoor painters. If you love painting from life, oil pastels are a hassle-free medium to take with you. They are also great if you have limited space. A shared space, little storage for art supplies or a small work desk does not pose a limitation to your experience with oil pastels. Another advantage is that most oil pastels are non-toxic. They can be safely used by children and you can even spend time painting together. This is the greatest advantage that oil pastels have over oil paint. You get the beautiful oil paint blending and look but none of the fumes or toxins. So if you always wanted to try out oil paint, these might be a great alternative. The oil pastels are vibrant and rich in color. They create very expressive paintings. They are mostly used for landscape paintings, quick sketches and color studies. If you know your color theory, you will have lots of fun. If you don't know color theory, oil pastels are a fun way to learn and experience the color mixes firsthand. Another advantage is that you can create incredibly fast with oil pastels. Not only can you quickly cover much ground and make progress with the broad sticks, you can also easily switch between colors without washing a brush first. And if you dislike something or made a mistake, no problem simply paint over it and start anew so if you are like me an impatient painter who quickly wants to bring their thoughts and vision to paper these could be a great fit for you they are also versatile in their surfaces application methods and further processing techniques texture and layering comes easy to them and they are very inviting to experiment with Last little advantage I want to mention is that oil pastels don't dry. You can put a painting aside and come back to it months later. If you ever experience dry edges of paint, place your painting somewhere warm for a few minutes. They do get softer with rising temperature and you are now again ready to paint. Now we take a look at the lengthy list of advantages in oil pastels and maybe you already know that it would be an amazing art medium for you. If you find any of the information I provide helpful, I'd be very grateful for a quick thumbs up so I know I'm on the right track. Now let's look at the disadvantages. Again, I will go into the personality types who might better stay away from this medium. So, the biggest disadvantage you should be aware of is that oil pastels are 
difficult to control. The stick itself is broad and clumsy, which prevents detailed paintings. You can use sandpaper or a knife to sharpen your paint stick, but details just don't come naturally to all pastels. You will certainly never achieve the exact desired shade of color you are aiming for. As paint clumps together, it might bring surprises while painting. That means that oil pastels are not suited for meticulous, detail-oriented painters. Because you need to let go of your need to control the painting and your paint. If you do want details, you can use the scrape-off technique I mentioned, or you can use oil-based colored pencils. Another big con is the storability of oil pastel paintings. As we already established, oil pastels never truly dry. Therefore, you can always smear your painting accidentally. You can place your paintings in a transparent film before storing them. If you want to frame it, you should have a glass frame, otherwise the oil paint will collect dust. The frame also needs to create a bit of distance between the painting and the glass to prevent the painting from sticking to the paint. Because these frames can be expensive, you should choose a standard size for your painting or even better, have the frame first and create the painting second. There are fixatives available, but they are a bit hard to come by and can be expensive as well. Also, you cannot scan oil pastel paintings, but rather need to take a photo of it. That photo then can be printed. So if you already know you want to sell your paintings framed or make prints of it, this could pose an issue for you. Another thing you need to be aware of is that oil pastel sticks break easily. It is possible that you have to paint with a quarter of a stump or use a special chalk holder to elongate the stump. There are also little crumbs that fall off the stick while you are painting and you could accidentally smudge them over your painting. That's why you should always be on the lookout for these crumbs and also place a sheet of paper under your painting hand. I am not doing that at the moment because I tend to not place my hand on the paper. I almost always wear long sleeve shirts and somehow learned not to, not to put my hand down. You should also be aware that there is no erasing with oil pastels. You can scrape off paint and you can paint over existing layers, but you cannot partially erase a spot and try again. After scraping off paint, it will be a different experience on the scraped off spot because you always interact with all the layers that are already existing on the paper. The last little disadvantage you should know is that the oil pastel sticks are rather small and limit the size of your painting. There are larger sticks available from some brands but usually you will probably stick to an A4 sized paper, maximum A3. Whew, are you still with me? That was a lot of information about oil pastels. It is now time for my final, as always, very objective rating of the Art Medium Oil Pastels. On a scale from no fun to fun, I give it a full 5 stars. They are great to experiment with and keep surprising me while painting because of their unique properties. On a scale from pricey to cheap, I give it 5 out of 5 stars again. You need almost no equipment to get started and can purchase a studio quality set from a known brand with plenty of colors on the cheap. On a scale from know-how to easy, I give it 3 out of 5 stars. You need to learn some techniques and a bit of color theory in order to use oil pastels. Otherwise, you might end up with a painting you might have done in first grade and when you mash up the colors together, they will only become different shades of brown. Last category, are oil pastels ready to go or is it a hassle to use them? I give it 5 out of 5 stars. You can easily take them with you, they need little to no storage space and you have all the equipment you need ready to paint in seconds and can put them away just as quickly. As you can see, I am quite impressed with oil pastels. If you have any questions I didn't answer in the video, let me know in the comments. I will definitely read and answer any and all things you want to know about oil pastels. I will post the finished painting on my Insta. If you found this video helpful, I'd be very grateful for a quick thumbs up and I hope to see you in my next video.
Bye.